Last March, I tore my right, I tore my meniscus in my knee, and I had surgery approximately on pro day of last year, and I had quad tendon repair on my right knee. And so I was out on crutches for six weeks and rehab, and then it just took a while for me to get, get back to you know, where I am now. My name is Ivan Candelari. I'm Sports Performance Director at Raritan Physical Therapy. I've met Brandon through a lot of other athletes that I've worked with, Mohamed Sanu, Logan Ryan. They play on the same team at Rutgers University. Uh, Brandon and I became friends. He's seen our, our track record with our previous guys. Mo was a third round pick. Logan was a third round pick. First guys drafted out of Rutgers the last two years. And uh, he wanted to be a part of that. I think Ivan is a, is a great guy. And uh, I rehab with him because of the kind of person that he is. You know, he, he's a very down to earth guy. He'll keep it real with you. And then he's about his business. And he's so serious and takes, takes pride in what he does. You know, because you know, his name is on this, you know, everything that he does. So he wants to represent it well. And I want to be affiliated with somebody like that. We want our guys to stay on the field. We want them to know how to manage their bodies when they get injured. Okay, that's probably the most important thing. If, you don't, if you're not on the field, you, you can't play, you can't make money, you can't do all that other, other good stuff. So we want them to actually be able to have full control of their rehab process, know exactly what's wrong with them, stretching as far as you know, using certain equipment. And you know, once that, that, that signifies to me that you're a pro because you're really maintaining your body to be an elite athlete. As far as the training aspect, they can train and they can do all this stuff great, but it, it won't mean anything unless they stay on the field. Ivan, he's very creative and I, I like that and because you know he keeps you on your toes. You don't get in the habit of doing the same thing over and over again and it just trains your muscles to, to react to different things and I think that's what we need as, as uh, elite athletes. I'm blessed to have a great foundation in my family. My mom and dad are both in my life and I have a older brother and younger sister. They've been my rock this whole way. My mom and dad, when it came to the decision about time for me to leave school, we looked at um, academics to see how far away I was from graduating. I'm only nine credits away from graduating, so I would come back next spring and finish that up. So my mom gave me the okay with that because, you know, this, the, the degree is for, you know, for her and uh, just to see her baby boy get a degree. When I first came on my a visit, I looked at the whole atmosphere of Rutgers and it was truly a family atmosphere. You hear that a lot. But once you actually you know, step foot on the campus, you really see that. I had a good time, good four years at Rutgers. And I think that throughout my time, I, I grew. Uh, I went through a lot of adversity and that, and that helped shape me into the guy I am today. I'm Brandon Coleman. I gave Rutgers everything I had. I felt as though it was time for me to move on. I was ready for the next challenge, which was the NFL.